All right, guys, so we're gonna be doing a little video today for square body S10s. I wanna be replacing the old door lock uh, cylinder. Gonna be going with black ones. I got the truck with no keys. So, gotta replace them. This is the one from the driver's side. I already did the driver's side. So I can show you guys. Let me get to that step. But first, you wanna take the door handles off. There's gonna be screws on the handles in here. This one is obviously missing stuff. But it'll be screws here, of course, across the bottom. And then you'll have to take this off. And if you don't wanna take off the roll-up windows, there's a little clip. It's like a C-clip. It's almost the same as this. That you'll just have to, you can get a pick, put it behind the little hole and pop it out. And that door handle will pop out. And then I'll do that. So we got the door handle off. You can see there's a little notch in there. This is the handle here. If you flip it over, you can see there's two side notches on both sides. So this clip, once we reinstall it, it's super easy as well. You just slide it on. So when you look in there, this clip is a little worn out. As you can see, we've got a spare one. But this clip sits like that. And you'll see the little opening on that side. You'll pull your pick pull this off and then it'll just pop out and then it'll release this from here and then when we put the once I get the new clip on and we go to install it this will be like this and then you just push on and pop now this door handle this door should pop off there should be some plastic clips going along this door handle, this whole thing's gonna get replaced. So, okay, let me get this off and then we'll get there. All right, so for me, I had to pull this tab off here. The other side, you can see it's pretty bare, so it doesn't really have anything, but I just pulled the bottom bolt. You can pull it a little far forward, pull that up, and then you can kind of pull up on this. I do it with one hand, but it pops off. So you can see there would be a clip here, here, here. And then there's three on that side and then one here. And then you'll pop these guys down and then roll your window up all the way to the top. And then we'll be able to reach in. And when you need to roll up the window, just take that clip out of the handle and you can just slide it on. And then you'll be able to roll it up. And then roll it up all the way to the top. And now you can see we have access in there to take that clip off. Okay, so for a kind of visual, I'm gonna show you guys. So this is kind of how, so the door is pinched in between here. There's a little gasket. You can kind of see the old gasket on this one. It's right there, but this is the new gasket for the new one. So there's, there's these thick tabs here and this clip will sit like this between there and it'll pinch you see how they're bowed towards the door, so it'll pinch this between the door. And then I'll show you guys on this side. When you pull this clip, you'll pull this from the front and it'll hang out. And then I'll show you the clip that you have to take off there. And then it's plug and play after that. I'll also show you, if I can get you in there a little bit. There is this little piece of the handle you can see right there. So push the bar forward, pull this plastic back, and then you'll be able to pull it towards towards the inside, towards the car. And then this bar will come out, and then you can see that gold color in there. That'll be the clip we pull towards us. And then you'll be able to pull the lock cylinder to, out of the door. So now, just wanna get behind this. Pull it out. And then just try to keep the orientation the same when you pull it out, just so you don't mess anything up too bad. All you gotta do is that. And then, you see on this back clip here, all you have to do, it's actually already pushed. So, this clip is oriented the wrong way, but you orientate this clip, and then it pops right off. And then, just give this a little gentle wiggle, get it out. I'll show you how easy I'll do it with one hand. 
take the key out. Nah, we don't take the key out. I'll just show you. So then you see the orientation there. Pop it in the same exact way. There's only one way to put it in. Like that. And then we'll reinstall that clip, push it back in, and then we'll put the new C clip on the back. I'll show you guys this too. So you can see how it kind of spins. So you just want to push it in there. And then on these these holes, these notches, you just want to line it up. And you can see it really only goes in one way, pops in. If I try to do it this way, you can see it's way too big. And on the sides, it's way too small. So I just orient it and it pops right in. All right, so I got it in there. You can see. Focus is on the right spot. You see, right here there's a tab, and that's the arm that goes up. So that red tab, I just want to show you guys, if you ever need to replace a door handle as well, let me zoom out a little bit. These two holes here, if you look in there, there's that bolt. And I don't know if you can guys, you can get, there's another one in there just like that one there. You can kind of see the ring of it. It's a 7 16 You can get a long extension with a 7 16 or a short socket. With your wrench you can get it in there if you don't have an extension and then that pops off and then that little arm that i told you to pop off with the red tab yours might not be red but mine is right there pull the plastic tab back middle arm forward and then you pull the arm out once you get the tab off and then you'll pull the door hand off put your new one in put the tabs back in and then you can reach back in here and put it back in super simple and push that back in and put the whole door handle back just follow the steps you know you got your bolts you got your bolts plastic tabs that go all the way around and then your door handle which like i said is super simple when you put the new clip on here slide it on and then just and then it should just clip over and slide onto the notches and then um but now you can see unlocked Locked. Unlocked. Oh. Yeah, so I'll show you. I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos on this truck here. I just picked it up. It's a 1992 Chevy S10 square body S10s. It's got a lot done to it. It's just not finished, you know. I got it needing some work. You can sit in here. I want to be truthful about everything. This is how it's all set up. The solenoids are just sitting on the bed. The gas tanks are sitting here. I just got this. We're gonna mount all that up. Battery, it's all ran funky. So I'm gonna be redoing all this stuff right now, but it runs and drives. It's a 2.8 manual, fun to drive. Love the air ride, you know, I gotta get new shocks for it. I'm gonna be changing these brackets because someone, I don't know why, but someone changed these brackets to this instead of mounting to where they're supposed to, which is right under there, there's a little tab you can see kind of. But if you guys are interested in that stuff, you know, give me a follow, subscribe, like. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's Baymax Extreme. I'll put it in the bio. I also have my S10 Blazer Extreme over there, which is my other little project, but she's just kind of being slow right now because I'm working on this. But yeah, she's a little work. I'm going to be doing a full interior restoration. That's why I'm not caring about these right now. See the seats? They're not torn or anything. They're just really dirty. I'm getting all new carpets. Hopefully new seats. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a quick release steering wheel. We're going to be patching this dash. And then I'm going to flock the dash. I don't know if you guys didn't remember that. It just kind of gives it that um, like fuzzy material kind of thing. I don't know. Some, some like race car guys do it or whatever. But... I just want this dash to look super clean, simple. I got to get a new, new um, glove box door. Got to get a radio system in this thing because I can't have a car with no radio. Got to get the the kick panel, clean up the wiring. Once I take out this interior, I'm gonna be redoing a lot of the air ride route wiring just because. I don't like the way it's routed and what it's what they use to route it and stuff like that. So I'm going to be doing hopefully two videos a week. 
I mean, actually, I'm going to be doing two videos a week. I'm going to stay to that. It actually was black and green, or it was green originally. You can kind of see the leftover green. I can post some pictures of it. I think it was sitting on some 20s, all blacked out at one point. Just rattle can. You can actually see this fender is the color it used to be. You can see the green bleeding through, kind of, especially on the antenna hole here. It's green. All this red was recently put on from a donor vehicle right before I bought it. The guy was going to end up keeping it, and I, you know, I traded him for another vehicle that I had for this because that vehicle was. Um, transmission was blown it had you know stuff that i didn't want to deal with but this runs and drives airs up lowers i'll put a little clip in at the end just gotta clean it all up i want to do a fuel cell i'm still gonna keep the 20 gallons hopefully maybe in a 25 if i can get away with it but i'm gonna do a more tall rectangle fuel cell that stays in that corner keep the battery box there i'm gonna be doing a new tank new compressors this thing will be brand new when I'm done with it. Just got to take time. But yeah, if you guys like that, just give me a subscribe. You know, keep up with my stuff. Notifications, all that stuff. Um, yeah, it's going to be a fun project. I hope you guys like it. Peace.